Why do you think it is that people who would be appalled and really upset to see a minstrel blackface show don't get as upset about this or at least don't speak up about it? I think it's because it's been such a long practice. Um, at, at one point, you know, especially when these Native American mascots were really kind of coming into play, like, you know, the Washington team named itself, Cleveland Indians, like all that stuff. Um, that was when our population was down to 250,000 people in the entire United States. And that's from millions, right, at first contact. And so we really were almost an extinct people. And so that's kind of when these, you know, the Boy Scouts and all that stuff kind of started appropriating Native culture at the same time that they were getting rid of pretty much the rest of us, right? They were shoving children into boarding schools, taking their culture away. It was actually illegal for us to practice our religious beliefs at the same time that, you know, the Boy Scouts were kind of appropriating that and turning it into like a, you know, a ceremony of their own. Um, and so I think because it's had such a long history, it's really hard for people to understand that this is actually offensive because now there are 5 million Native Americans. We didn't die out. We're still here and we're, we're ticked. I mean, it's like, come on, man. Like you shouldn't do that. You can't, you can't do it with any other race, but you do it with us on the regular. Yeah. Well, how has, how has non-Native reception been toward what you guys are doing? Do you have like a lot of support? Um, you know, I, I think it's kind of here and there. Sometimes we get support, sometimes we don't. Um, a lot of times I, I see a lot of pushback from fans who just have never thought about it before. And that's really the case for most people when they see a Halloween costume and they, you know, you see Gwen Stefani wearing a headdress or whatever, they just really have honestly never thought of it before. And that's because they probably never met, never met a Native American person before. But now we're on social media and you can click and talk to hundreds and, you know, hundreds and hundreds of Native Americans about these issues. And it's kind of like once you know, then it's kind of on you. You know what I mean? And so I, I, just, I just think we're at a place now where other people should be becoming more aware of what's going on. Um, one thing that's actually really hard here in Washington, D.C. is, you know, there's a very large African-American population here and that's the team. And so I think for them in particular, I get a lot of pushback because they're people of color too. And they really don't want to be associated with something that, that's racist. And they've just never thought about it before, but they are really, you know, I, I would never do that. I'm not racist. You just don't understand. You know, that's what I get the pushback from, from people of color is I, I'm not racist. You know, wh whereas I'm saying, well, what you're doing is, 